In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five colorful arrow infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, when I click, it will show me the first arrow where I've used some transparent colors. You can add the text here, option number one, icon, you can add some title and the detailed text. And when I click with the different color combination, it will come the second, the third, fourth, and the fifth. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rectangles on that corner just click it here and go to the shape format i'm going to make the height as 0.77 and width as 2.07 and then you can see the small orange point just drag this inside so it becomes fully curved shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color and then right mouse click go to the format shape and increase the transparency to 30 percent all right and then i'm going to place it exactly here in the center and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and you can just give some different color combination to it and go to the rotate i'm going to make it rotate right 90 degrees and i'm going to put it exactly on top of this one from one side so let me just zoom in you can see here i'm just going to do not uh, put like this okay just properly aligned it and then i'm going to add one more select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and this time i'm going to remain the height 0.77 but the width i'm going to make this as a 3.65 all right and then i'm going to rotate it by holding the alt and the right arrow keys maybe three times alt one two and three times okay then I'm going to place it and then this color I'm going to give some different color. Let me just zoom in and again align it properly. All right. You can see it. Do, do not put like this or like this. Put it exactly like this and maybe you can send this to back. So we end up getting a shape which looks like this. All right. So now for this shape either I can group it or I can just go to insert text and I'm going to write title here or just title only and then i'm going to make it a uh, open sans uh, semi bold and bring it here or i can make it extra bold all right and then white font and then again i'm going to hold the alt and the left arrow key three times i'm going to press alt one sorry let me just do once again alt one two and three all right so and then i'm going to place the text here let me just reduce the text width okay so you can see here i have made something like this and then one more thing which i would like to do is go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key okay again make sure that it is perfectly in the center shape outline i'm going to make it as white and increase the weight to six point or something like that and shape fill make it no fill so it looks something like this all right and once this is done maybe somewhere we have not removed the outline i believe it's not there shape outline is not there okay so now i'm going to insert the text which is one or zero one it's up to you again open sans extra bold center align white font and i'm going to put exactly in the center and that's it all right so now i'm going to select all of these press ctrl g to group it i'm going to put it here then ctrl d to duplicate and Put it here exactly let me just zoom in again align it properly you can see here you 
yeah this is properly aligned now press ctrl d to duplicate by default it is already there ctrl d one two three four and five so you can see here i have added five now i'm going to make this as two this is as three this is as four this one is five all right now we have made the design now it's time to change the color as per your requirement either you can keep that same color or i'm going to just give some different color combinations depending on the requirement maybe here i'm going to give more colors and i'm going to give some darker color combinations you can see here purple here okay then let me just complete this one and i'm going to give here a kind of a uh, dark orange could be and here i'm going to give maybe a darker green water color which you like and then for this one i'm going to give a maybe a, a darker blue all right and then again as i said depending on the requirement you can just choose any color there's no hard and hard rule that you need to choose this color only if you like that color just go for it all right so let me just select any different color combination here maybe a purple and here i'm going to give a maybe a this color so you can see here different different color combinations you can give so once this is done let me just change this color also no okay and here i'm going to give maybe a this color all right select all the colors by pressing control all the objects by pressing control a and make sure that it is properly aligned yeah and then you can add some detailed text so go to insert text box equals lower and within bracket one i don't need this much large text i'm going to delete some of the text reduce the font size color i'm going to give gray and i'm going to put something like this here all right if you want you can insert some icons also so you can just go to insert you can just choose any icon of your choice it's taking some time to load so once it's there you just choose the right icon depending on the requirement so you can see here let me just select this one and click on insert and here i'm going to make this as 0.5 and put it here exactly in the center okay and again depending on the color what you have chosen here sorry i'm going to use the eyedropper and choose this color all right so now let me just group this one Control g to group it Control d to duplicate it and i'm going to put it here this is my second option Control d the third option fourth option and the fifth option now it's time for you to just select this one under the graphic format graph change graphic from icons and you can just choose any uh, icon again for example i'm going to choose maybe this one and click insert and then change the color using the eyedropper like this so you can do the same thing select this one go to the change graphic from icons and maybe i'm going to choose this click insert and then go to the eyedropper and click on here like this so you can see here i just change the icons change the text if you want and we have changed the colors of all the arrows and then it's time to do the animation to do the animation close this one go to the animation enable the animation painter i'm going to select the first one add animation more entrance effects maybe i can select the strips click ok and the strips should come from right up like this and then for this one add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok effect options from bottom and this should happen after previous all right so if i play 
it comes something like this so now using the animation painter i'll copy the animation to rest of the options so select this one click on animation painter for the sorry not that one undo again animation painter let me just select here then this one click it here then again i'm selecting this one and do this same thing repeat the steps and again i'm going to do the same thing here also let me just do the same thing here and the last one and uh, all right so now let me just play you can see here one two three four and five 